Well, here we are Friday evening. Let's see what the guys are doing. He's going to start laughing when he sees me walk up to him, probably. We're staging a uh, for a photo shoot here. It's simulating a walkway with these engraved pavers. This will look awesome when the lights go out. This is where we get a picture, and then we'll go up and get some real shots when they're installed up at the uh, uh, Ronald McDonald House. AJ! Yes, sir. Just telling all our watchers what we're doing here. Welcome to Paver. What do you think about here at Paver? How do you think working here is? It is. It's a laboratory. It's like the most innovative place in the world. Uh, we all come from so many different backgrounds in the same industry that we kind of bring a lot to the table. I think we're uniquely set up to just expand ridiculously. Expand with ideas and all the kinds of fun here, stuff. Just, first of all, the, the beginning of the corporation, the story behind it of the innovation and how it got started. Now, all the new technology that's coming out, we're utilizing it's just... What's out there now? What, what are the, what's the uh, homeowner have to choose from at this point and up till now? They're just, there's, I think in hardscaping in general, kind of lost its way of uh, having passion. Come on, remember when it was just driveways and walkways and steps and then designers got involved and started designing backyard, beautiful patios. This is the next step. It's the evolution of hardscape. Here we are. You think people are bored of the pavers that are out there these days? And the job choices that they have? Yes, it's just monotonous. And the contractors are, are fighting over pennies to get jobs, which kills the creativity of what they're doing, which kills the passion. You know, how many contractors are really going out there enjoying knocking on the contractor's door? I mean, knocking on the homeowner's door. Getting out of the truck enthusiastic about selling their product. I don't see that anymore. Especially at the end of the job when they got to go get paid. And they're not happy. Like, mm. Hey, that's why I started cleaning and sealing years ago. Because I like the idea of someone running out and going, thank you. And having no problem collecting a check. They're right there mm. with the check because they're so appreciative. What a great job you've done. Yeah, you pretty much pioneered the entire cleaning and sealing industry. It's, it's been rough. There's so many different... There was no one to say, hey, this is the right way to do it. Uh, most companies are coming out. And it really is, about, unfortunately, about the dollar. Because there's companies that put something out here, do it, and they give you a weekend seminar, and all of a sudden you you know what you're doing. Well, that's not really the case. So what, what are we going to do this this winter here? Uh, we're going to show people how to do it right. We're gonna teach people how to be craftsmen. Instead of hiring contractors, look for a craftsman. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between a guy in a pickup truck and a shovel and a guy who's been running the business for 10 years and knows what he's doing. I mean, we should give the people who have been in this industry for 10 or 15 years their just due. I mean, a guy who's been doing this for two years cannot compete with a guy who's been doing this for 10 years or 20 years. As much as they say they can, there's not. And we put all these designs now at their disposal for... And that's the next step. It kind of it doesn't necessarily level the playing field, but it gives the contractors who are passionate and who are craftsmen to utilize something to this and take it to the homeowner. It's taking it to the next level. I'm tired of that old hardscaping where it's just... I mean, how many patios do you see out there? It's just a sheet of color. There's nothing in Look at this. Yeah. Look at the beauty of that color. Imagine that driveway instead of this big, you know, black driveway of brick. We have this beautiful piece of art. Well, this one's not cleaned yet, but we'll show that on the next video how this really turns out. But, uh, think it's fun to work here? Love it. Being part of all this? I think of people that know me. In fact, working for someone else is pretty hard as it is. And working here is, uh, sorry, I love it here. Well, you're not working for anybody. We're all working together. Big difference. True. It shows them what we create. And that's why we get to come to work every day with a smile. There's no, we're always at each other. Can, what can we do better? It's, it's great here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like competition. It's like being an athlete. Don't you every think it's time for the, uh, it's time for the hard shape industry to wake up? Because they, don't, is, they don't know what's about to hit them true and thank god we have that wonderful stage of the internet otherwise no one would even know who we are because as many doors as we knock on as many distributors people we've been to 
I don't think people see it. They cannot see the vision we have here. And that's, that is why we have to take control of it and show people the passion and the initiative that, hey, this is going to work. And we and this is all titled Team Paver Art. Team Paver That's what we're going to be building with our contract. National. We're passion again. Come on, guys, stop the. Oh my God, it's a thousand square feet, brick stone. We're going to do this. Stop. How can you wow your customer? You think your customer's not willing to pay ten percent or twenty percent more with an added beautiful design? There's some real craftsmanship involved in it. Some borders. Think out of the box, guys. Stop. I mean, there's no. Apple is Apple. Apple and Microsoft are different companies. People who love Apple buy Apple all the time. And they're usually people in industries that need that. This is, this is the Apple of hardscaping. Look at this place. Everything here is innovative and new. We're not bound by those rules and regulations everyone else has. It's us. We don't have a bureaucracy of 30 people to answer questions. This is slowly starting to come together now. What does that need to be cleaned? Yeah. Good thing we have the best cleaners in the industry, right? Absolutely. Not quality. We also want to make sure that after we clean this, we let it fully dry before it's sealed so that we don't dilute it and ruin it. Oh, wait, yeah. someone else already uses that yeah, gimmick, that but. Process. Yeah, what a joke. Yeah, no gimmicks, man. We're going to. And there's no such thing as a perfect system. Contractors have to realize that you know, this is what they do for a living. Have passion again. Enjoy what you do. Until next time. Adios.